And now, how to play Don't Poop on My Lawn! The object of Don't Poop on My Lawn is to be the first in your neighborhood to build a beautiful lawn by playing six poop-free grass cards. Let's start by identifying a couple of things. In this game, players are called neighbors, and the space directly in front of you is your property. Your property is made up of two sections, your walk pile and your lawn. Your lawn will be made up of grass cards that you play along the way, and the space in front of your grass card is called a sidewalk space. We'll go over some of the cool things you can do in the game, but first let's just start with the three main things you do, which are building your lawn, walking your doggy, and of course, pooping on your neighbor's lawn. How to build your lawn. When it's your turn, you build your lawn by playing a grass card out in front of you, one per turn. As you build your lawn, however, your neighbors will be sending their doggies out to destroy it. Since the goal is to get a poop-free lawn, I'll show you how to clean up your lawn in just a minute. But for now, let's see how you move your doggy around the neighborhood. In order to move your doggy, you must first have a walkies card on your walk pile. Your walkies card stays there the entire game unless you lose it. There are different ways to lose it, and we'll go over that and how you replace it in a minute as well. For now, here's how you move your doggy. Your doggy starts the game out from your home space behind your walk pile, and moves one space per turn. So on your first turn, you move from your home space to your porch. On your next turn, you get to move from your porch onto any sidewalk space belonging to any of your neighbors. And then on your next turn after that, you get to move from that sidewalk space onto the grass card in front of you. Once you're on a grass card, you get to poop on your neighbor's lawn. So let's see how to poop. The neighbor whose lawn you're going to poop on mixes the poop cards and hands them to you. You deal them face up one at a time, stopping when you get to either a poop card or a fart card. If you get to a poop card, count how many cards you dealt total and put that many poops on your neighbor's grass card. If you get to a fart card then it was a false alarm and you didn't poop at all and your turn is over. Now on your next turn you can move from the grass card to any other neighbor's sidewalk spaces and then proceed to try and poop on someone else's lawn once again. So that's basically how you move around the neighborhood. So now let's see how to play the game. To set up each player chooses a doggy. Give everyone a walkies card from the player cards and each neighbor places it face up in their walk pile to start the game. This will allow everyone to begin moving right away. Now thoroughly shuffle the cards and deal seven player cards to each neighbor. Neighbor. Place the rest of the deck in the center of the table, place the poop pile deck to the left of it, and during the game, you'll discard to the right of the player cards. Playing. On your turn, you'll always draw a card from the player's card pile first, and then you'll always play a card or discard if you can't play a card. In other words, you'll always have seven cards in your hand. And then, if you can, you'll move your doggy. Now remember, everyone starts the game with the walkies card in their walk pile, so most likely in the beginning, you'll be moving your doggy right away. At the start of the game, since not much has happened, there's not much to do, so on your first turn, it's very likely that you'll just play a grass card, if you have one, and then you'll move your doggy one space. Until everyone starts to build their lawn, most players will start by playing a grass card on their first turn. Now remember, it's possible to lose your walkies card, in which case you'll be grounded, and you can't move your doggy. When that happens, when it's your turn, you can still draw cards, play cards, and or discard, but not move your doggy. The player cards. As you know, a walkies card is played on the walk pile and allows you to move your doggy around the neighborhood. The dog license card can be used exactly as a walkies card, however, it can also prevent prevent a neighbor from playing a dog catcher card on you. So let's take a look at the dog catcher card. This card is played on someone's walk pile and causes them to lose a turn. So when it's their turn, all they can do is remove the dog catcher card and place it in the discard pile, and their turn is over. No drawing cards, playing cards, or moving their doggy. There is one exception to this. When it's their turn, if they have a dog license card in their hand, they can state that they have a dog license and place it on top of the dog catcher's card, canceling it out. And then they get to move their doggy as normal. Remember, the dog license card allows allows you to walk just the same as a walkies card would. And as long as you have a dog license card on your walk pile, no one can play a dog catcher card on you. Remember, if you play your dog license card, you still have to draw a card to replace it. Here are some cards that'll protect you. Garden Hose. When a doggy steps onto your lawn, you can play this immediately even though it's not your turn. This stops them from pooping and sends them back to their home space. Don't forget to replace this card by drawing a new card. Sprinklers. Like a garden hose, it can only be played while a doggy is pooping on your lawn. It sends them home, but also it sends all the doggies on your property, whether they're on a sidewalk space or your grass, home as well. After playing, place this card in the discard pile and draw a new card to replace it. Fence card. Place this in front of your grass cards to keep the doggies off. It remains there for the entire game. If there's a doggy already on one of your sidewalks, this can be placed between the doggy and the grass card to stop it from getting on your lawn. Jump the fence. This allows you to jump over a fence card and poop on your neighbor's lawn. After playing, place this card in the discard pile. Extended leash. This simply allows you to take an extra turn. Example, you draw a card and then play this card on the discard pile and then move your doggy if you're not grounded. Now you can draw a 
another card and take another complete turn. Also, you can play multiple extended leash cards on one turn if you wish. You can also play an extended leash card even if you're grounded. Here are some distraction cards. Fetch cards. When you play a fetch card, you set it on the discard pile and then pick up any one of your neighbor's doggies and place it on anyone's grass card or sidewalk space. When you place them on a grass card, they get to poop immediately even though it's not their turn. You can even fetch a doggy to its own lawn where they have to poop on their own grass. Squirrel! You play this card by setting it on the discard pile and then you pick up all the doggies and place them all on one neighbor's sidewalk spaces. Do the best you can to distribute them evenly and it's okay if you place more than one doggy on a single space. Don't forget that spaces in front of fence cards are also sidewalk spaces. Pooper scoopers and the golden scooper. Play this card by placing it in the discard pile and then removing the number of poops indicated on the card from your property. Place the poops back in the poop bag. Bad food. Bad food can only be played on a turn when you're going to poop on someone's lawn. Example, state that you have a bad food card, set it on the discard pile, and then move on to your neighbor's lawn to poop. If you poop, you get to double the number of poops. If you don't poop and you fart instead, or your neighbor plays a sprinkler or a garden hose, then you don't get to poop at all and you lose your bad food card. Pee pee spots. Play this instead of pooping. Of course, they can still stop you from playing this card if they have a garden hose or a sprinkler's card. Pee pee spots ruin your grass, so the only way to fix it is to play a new grass card over it. And finally, bad dog. A bad dog card is placed on your walk pile and cancels your walkies card or your dog license and you're grounded. You must get a new walkies card or dog license to walk again. Here are some general rules. You can't poop on a grass card that already has poop on it or a pee pee spot on it. More than one doggy can occupy the same sidewalk space or grass card. When using a fetch card or a squirrel card, you can't move a doggy that's grounded. You can't play more than the number of grass cards than it takes to win. In other words, it takes six cards to win in a four player game. You can't play seven or eight grass cards to try and get six that don't have poop on them. You can only play six grass cards maximum and then remove the poop from those six cards to try to win. And lastly, tiny fake poops are not chocolate. Please keep all parts from this game out of the reach of children three years old or younger for safety reasons. Well, we hope you enjoy playing the game and thank you so much for your support.